Hello everyone, this is a follow-up to one of my previous videos, polarizations and wave plates. It's gonna be short, and here I'm gonna show the mathematical operation of Jones matrix. I'll try my best to clearly show the math. So let's recall, we had these two wave plates, also called wave retarders. And I briefly showed these two expressions for the wave plates at the end of the previous video. 2 pi is a full wave, right? So that's why we have pi here, which means a half wave, and pi over 2 here, which means a quarter wave. We could also write them like this, which may look better. Anyway, where did these two matrices come from? It came from Jones matrix. Here's the expression. So if we have a wave going through the wave plate, the amount of wave shift is the phi right there. And if you start rotating the wave plate, you can also change the matrix by this rotation angle theta. So you can tell that for the half wave plate, phi should be pi. And for the quarter wave plate, phi should be pi over 2. Let's first try to plug in the angle pi into the Jones matrix. e to the i pi over 2 is equal to the imaginary number i, and e to the negative i pi over 2 is negative i. You know that, right? So if we simplify the expression and also apply some of the trig identities, we'll get this expression, which is the matrix for the halfway plate. You can pause the video and take your time to follow this. And similarly, for the quarter wave plate, we get the same expression that we had before. I hope this is clear. So yeah, that's how we obtain the matrices for the wave plate. Now let's try to apply them. These are the different types of polarization states. The DALR states have 1 over square root of 2 in the front for normalization. Again, I brought this from the previous video. I'm going to mathematically show the changes in the vertical polarization by a halfway plate as an example. So, 0 degree orientation. you'll get minus iv, but this negative i could be ignored because it's just a global phase shift. So this could be the final output. For the next one, 22.5 degrees, well, you remember we had two thetas in the sines and cosines, so it becomes 45 degrees. You'll get anti-diagonal state, which is correct. Also, for 45 degrees rotation, it'll be cos 90 and sine 90, right? So you'll get the horizontal polarization, which is consistent, which I showed you in the previous video. So the rest are calculated the same way. You could try with a quarter wave plate by yourself. It'll work out well. So that's all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching and see you next time.